Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will see how can we make our website password protected. So we will apply uh, username and password on our website. So uh, if we want to, if we want to access our website, or if anyone want to access our website, he need to enter the uh, username and password. First, you need to be in the root directory. So now I am in the root directory. If you are not in the root directory, then uh, First you can write switch user and after that you can write cd slash so uh, I'm in the root directory uh, uh, we can uh, secure files and directories in website with a dot ht access file that refers to a dot ht password file so ht password command can create a file that contains the user id and password the password command and we are using minus e flag uh, minus e flag is uh, used to create dot ht password file so now we are creating new user first we need to enter the path where we want to create the user so we were so we are giving the path where our website is located if you have not created a website any website name based or code base then you can see previous videos in which i have created name based website and port based website so now we are making our name based uh, website password protected so uh, after writing this after some space you have to enter the username so uh, i will create the username ninja tech now uh, it's asking me to set a password so i'm setting some password so uh, password is added now uh, the next step is that we need to create a dot ht access file in the document root of the website we want to protect so uh, for this i will write gedit html name one because our web name based website uh, was located in name one folder or you can uh, say in this path now i am creating dot access file in that folder where my name based website is located now we will enter some configuration details here now uh, required valid user so uh, these were the details now uh, save the file and now close the file uh, now we need to adjust the uh, allow override parameter in httpd.con file again uh, now we have to write gedit as we know gedit is used to create and edit the file Now enter. Now uh, search for directory. So uh, we have found it. 
you have to find this section and uh, after this at the bottom over there you have to change this none into you have to replace this none with auth config now save the file now close the file now we have uh, performed all the operations to make our website password protected so now you need to access the website so w get command is used to access your website so the name of our website was name one dot local uh, which we have created in previous video so now uh, I am accessing it so it is connected now we will open this website using this link So now we need to save the configuration for this. We need to restart the Apache. So now the configurations are saved. So uh, now we have accessed the file using uh, access the website using wget command now open from this link so now you can see that uh, we can't access our website without username and password so so we made our website password protected so my username was ninja tech so i'm writing my username and I remember what was my password now I am entering my password now you can see so now you can see that we have accessed our website using username and password we have made our website password protected I hope you understand thank you so much for watching <laughs>